Hi everybody and welcome to my Cinema 4D and we can say Body Paint 3D uh, projections tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I want to show you all ways how can we apply our materials and textures to our objects. Uh, I want to show you all geometric projections that Cinema 4D has and demonstrate and show and learn you uh, Body Paint 3D unwrapping system. Uh, that's true that the market knows probably a bit better unwrapper uh, systems as well but uh, body paint 3D is still very solid and very very effective I think and I use it very often. Uh, we will see that Cinema 4D has uh, really many very nice features. We will see that we can use uh, many different projections on one object in one material and in one layer as well it's very important and very interesting and the other uh, we can use selection tags and apply our materials to a part of our object only and the other we can use vertex map as uh, vertex maps as well and uh, we will learn how to use body paint 3D and prepare our UV mesh because UV mesh can be crucial in many many cases just just take this one my bike example it looks as a pretty simple object and it is without doubt but check the result it does not look bad I think because I have prepared a UV mesh for almost all part of the bike and uh, it produces uh, this one pretty nice result I think. Here is a different camera detail but we can show a different example a bit more complicated example. Take this one plane. As you can see this one plan is fully painted and uh, I've needed a uh, correctly UV mesh for a painting. Uh, this one plan is the main example of our tutorial but we will show other examples as well because this one belongs more to engineering. In case uh, you are an architect maybe you are looking for something like this. It's the second example that, we, uh, that will be showed and uh, here's another example this one toy uses uh, UV mesh and you can find uh, this one toy on your archive of this one tutorial as well because I've uh, added really many objects to the archive and here's a different example because we can use uh, UV uh, mesh very often and they are really nice but in many cases for example in case you want to prepare some nice wood uh, UV mesh is really not necessary and you can use a pretty simple geometric projection and the result will be really amazing like this one example as you can see it does not use UV mesh these projections, geometric projections are showed as well and demonstrate as well and here is a different example uh, is a, a different geometric projection. This one projection is named camera projection and use one specific camera that project that projects uh, a picture to your scene and in case uh, you prepare some simple object that will be almost the same shape that shape that's uh, the shape on your on your picture you are able to simulate the content of your picture it's really a nice feature and you can add uh, to this one fake faked objects uh, other structures that can cast shadows and other and you can fly around it etc etc as I have said before in case you will study my tutorial you will get really many objects just see and these objects are really very different and you can study them and uh, we will use them in my tutorial 
and you will see that preparing some UV mesh for your technical object your, or architecture object uh, from architecture stuff or for uh, some organic stuff is not so complicated with Cinema 4D and Barry Paint 3D. You will find that Barry Paint 3D is a very, very effective application and the UV creating is uh, pretty funny and very fast. Uh, but you must know really, uh, really well uh, Cinema 4D selection tools because selection tools of Cinema 4D makes uh, the speed of your uh, unwrapping workflow. In case you know really well these tools, your work in Bypain 3D will, will be really very very fast and very effective and you'll find that Bypain 3D is still a very powerful tool for unwrapping. Okay, let's go to the first part.